Bobby Richter, privacy and security tester here at Consumer Reports. Boy, am I glad to see you, man. Hey, what's going on? Well, I've been hearing about this data breach and privacy concerns all over the news. Should I be worried? Yeah, I think everybody should be at least a little concerned. I was part of a data breach just recently. I'm sorry to hear that. I really try to stay vigilant and have strong passwords. It's something I encourage everybody to do. Um, how would I know if I have a strong password then? Well, why don't we play a game we can try to find out. All right, I like games. Let me ask you some questions. Sure. What exactly is on your shirt there? Oh, this is my dog, Boots. Ah, great. Boots looks adorable. <laughs> Thanks. All right, when did you get Boots? I got Boots 2015. Okay. Okay. And where did you get boots from? In Los Angeles. All right. So I'm going to take a guess at what your password might be. Mm. Ready? Mm hmm I love boots 15. Is that about right? You know, that is very, very close. It's not it, but it's scary that you almost got it. Right. Just imagine what would happen if I had a little bit more time, if I had some tools, my laptop around. I might be able to use some of these techniques, and then I would have it. Hackers often can find all this personal information simply by looking at your public social media feeds, where you might post pictures of your dog, write about your hometown, and other personal facts. So how do I then strengthen my password? Well, I have a technique, something a little bit low tech. I have some great cards here. Pick three at random. Okay, what do you got here? Uh, well, we got uh, stars, a car, and a boat. Okay, so I'm gonna write these down. And what we're gonna try to do is build a phrase using these because you're gonna wind up with a sentence that's very long and has some randomness in it. So how's about stars ride in cars and boats? Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. You can see how long that password is. Yeah, how well, am I gonna memorize that all the time? Well, you try to build an image of that in your head. You might actually imagine some actors who are stars that ride cars <laughs> and boats. Okay, all right. So the key to this game is that you picked out some cards that are random. You have three random words, and they make a, a phrase that's very long, and passwords that are hard to crack. Got it, so randomness is probably the most key thing to having a very strong password. And length. Are there any tools to be able to save these? Yeah, password managers try to do this kind of thing automatically. What's a password manager? A password manager is an application on your laptop or your phone. It helps you auto-generate passwords that are long and random enough, but it also remembers them for you. So are they the safest thing to do when you store your passwords? I don't think anything is 100% is safe, but these techniques are the best that we know about right now. Right. So the final thing we could talk about is hints and security questions. What do I need to know about this? Well, they might ask you something like, uh, where did you grow up? Oh, that's easy. New York City. All right, well, that answer is okay, but it's the truth, and that's a problem. Wait, so you're telling me that I shouldn't answer with the truth? So then what should I do? You should try to make something up that you can remember, like oh. San Francisco. The same is true for password hints. Mm -hmm. They might ask you, they might just have another line like that that says, give yourself a hint for later in case you forget your password. Yeah, I've seen this. Yeah, it's not a great idea to answer those things too truthfully as well. They're just giving someone more information than they need to guess your password later. Sorry, Boots. I'm going to have to create some stronger passwords. Good idea. Be safe out there, Jack. All right, thanks. <laughs>